Hey guys, uh, today we're going to go ahead and talk about finding discounts and markups. Um, it may be easy for some, but I just want to go ahead and go over it because it does give some students uh, a difficulty. So here we have uh, an example, $60, and we're going to go ahead and take 10% off. And you've probably seen this at the store, so we're going to go through it nice and easy. It says find a discount amount, and then it says find a sale price. Okay, so it's two different... Uh, two different parts of the question all right and I like to go ahead and use an acronym also for my students and <clears throat> I use DMOS okay and you, what I want you to do is understand what they're asking you we're starting with sixty dollars and we're gonna take ten percent off so we're gonna go ahead and subtract so this is pretty easy D stands for decimal Okay, the 10% we got to make it into a decimal. M stands for multiply. We're going to go ahead and multiply times our value, which is 60. 10 times 60 is 600. We have two uh, decimal places, so it'll be $6. And then A and S, it's either add or subtract. If we're going to mark something up, you're going to add the value. If you're going to, if they're asking you for a discount, you're going to subtract. So this value here, the $6, that's our discount amount. Okay. Sometimes you got to be careful because sometimes they'll ask you for the discount amount. They won't ask you for the sale price, the discount amount. Okay, now, what's the final sale price? Well, we're going to go ahead and subtract $60 minus $6 is going to give us $54. Okay, so the final sale price is about $54. Okay, and of course you have taxes. Alright, so that's how you would do that one. Now, here's another way that you can do it too. Um, and now this is 10% off. Okay, remember when we're talking about percent, we're talking about 100. Now you can do it a different way, a lot quicker. If you okay, if you're gonna take 10% off, that means you have to pay 90%. Correct? That means you have to pay 90%. So to make it quick, to find the sale price, 60, 60 dollars times 90% we can go 0 0.90 6 times 9 is 54 we got two zeros two decimal places and that's your sale price okay if they ask if they say it's 20% off that means you're gonna pay 80% of the value alright so there's two ways to look at it alright let's go ahead and do one more and we're gonna go ahead and do a markup Alright guys, this time we're going to go ahead and do a markup. Uh, we'll make it a little bit more difficult. $56.99 and it's marked up let's say, whoops, marked up I don't know, 15% uh, okay so we're going to go ahead and use our acronym same thing, DMAS, DMAS Okay, now we have 15%, that's my decimal, 0. 0.15. Multiply, now 56, I don't know, I don't want to do 56.99, so I'm going to do 57. Remember, work smarter, not harder. And when you multiply these two values, if everything goes well, you should get $8.55. Okay, I'm hoping and I'm assuming that you guys are pretty good with your decimals, multiplying. And the last one, addition or subtraction. Now, because it's a marked up uh, price or value, we're going to go ahead and add. So we're going to add 57 plus $8.55. And remember, when you're doing this, okay, make sure you put that double zero over there. Okay, and you should get $65.55. Okay. So, for marked up or discount, change whatever it is, the whatever percent is into a decimal, 
0.15 multiply and then we're going to either add or subtract based on what they ask you all right guys hope this helped we'll see you next time